You know, well, that's what I spoke about at the beginning of the game, showing growth and playing these games. And uh, it doesn't change uh, your approach to the game as uh, far as, you know, the opponents we had our last two games with uh, Milwaukee and Philly. And now uh, you have New York coming in, team under 500. I uh, wanted to see growth in the sense of how we approach this game. I thought we approached this game with the with the business mindset, uh, you know, they were switching, uh, playing a lot of zone. This is the most zone we've seen all season long. And I thought our guys adapted to that and was able to uh, to get this win. You know, so this is what we want to continue to, uh, you know, see from our guys, uh, you know, games. Uh, th- you you got to play the game. You can't assume uh, that anyone you're going to beat unless you go out there and you, you play that game and uh, execute as we did tonight. Seemed like your defense really picked up as the game went on as well, and you know, forced some shot clock violations. It did. It did. Uh, I thought the first half they were, you know, uh, we were fouling, and they were pretty much getting, you know, a lot of what they want. And then when they did miss, uh, they were uh, rebounding the basketball. Cantor really uh, had a good first half against us in the paint, scoring on the offensive glass. I think he had four or five offensive rebounds. Uh, the second half, we knew we had to tighten up defensively, um, and I got thought our guys did. We got aggressive, uh, made them work for their points, and uh, was able to uh, get some stops. Oladipo scores 26 points on 13 field goal attempts, eight rebounds, seven assists, five steals. Is this the kind of game you want him to play? Uh, now with the growth of his teammates and the fact he realizes he's got plenty of help to score? Yeah, well, you know, that we, we want our guys to be efficient. Um, and, you know, I thought he took uh, good shots. Uh, and, you know, when there were double teams or guys committed uh, to, to him, uh, he gave up the ball. And it's a, it's a simple game. And, you know, we've been talking about this all season long, or at least since I've been coaching. You play the game the right way. And you know you have you're going to get opportunities. When you get those opportunities, you got to recognize that, take advantage of it. But when t- when you're a double team and uh, uh, guys are open, get the ball out of there. Coach, with Tyreek out tonight and then Victor returning um, Wednesday, how important was it for Aaron to get a rhythm quick tonight? Well, you know, Aaron is that's his role uh, to be ready when guys uh, are injured and when guys get in foul trouble, uh, you know, we're going to call him uh, without a notice, and uh, he has to be ready uh, to go. It's, you know, it's difficult, but it's the role that he has. He has kept himself ready. You know, he works hard uh, during practice, and uh, when he's not getting minutes to keep himself in shape and to try to keep, you know, a little bit of rhythm, plays a lot of uh, three-on-three, four-on-four, uh, you know, during practice and before games. And, you know, so really wasn't a hesitation or a thought uh, where we were going with a, a guard being down. When Tyreek was, when I got the notice that Tyreek was out, uh, Aaron was the guy that we we're going to replace him with. And I thought he did a good job tonight being aggressive defensively. I thought he did some good things offensively. Did Shot wasn't falling for him, but, uh, you know, he's a threat out there. Your defense against Hardaway that first game, he got a lot of stepped into a lot of clean looks. Like you guys were emphasizing running him off and locking and trailing. Is that part of a maybe looks like a major emphasis for you guys to, for you guys to stop them from getting? No, ready? that's that's our defense. You know, we probably didn't do a, a good a good enough job the first time, uh, but our defense was pretty much the same body and try to get through. Uh, we really don't like to gap shooters like that when you go under screens. Uh, you know, they, you give them the space to catch and raise up. So I thought Victor and Corey, uh, you know, those guys who was guarding him, uh, did a pretty good job tonight of making their reads, bodying, getting through, getting skinny, getting through the screens, uh, or last second gapping uh, to make him work to catch. But when he does catch the ball, you want to be underneath him. You can't give him space. Uh, Miles, I mean, you know, a lot of guys did a lot of good things defensively. The way he ended the, that chase down of uh, Moutier when it seems like the play was going to be a foregone layup, that sort of stuff is kind of what 
inspired you guys? You think That's how you win games. And, you know, those are the plays uh, we're looking for our guys to to make. You know, those are the plays that we talk about we need to make uh, to win games. And it doesn't make a difference who. Um, and, you know, Miles was – uh, that guy tonight that came up with a, a big stop. And, um, again, it's, it's, you know, for us, it's not about offense. Uh, it's about defending, playing the game together offensively, and we feel we can get wins. And, you know, tonight, uh, because of the zone, a lot of guys didn't get a lot of touches. But defensively, we got stops when we needed to. The Turner seemed to adjust during the game. As you mentioned, Cannon is a load down there, and, and he was struggling offensively. Ended up being quite productive. How does that show his growth a little bit, and what did he do to get, get going in the second half? Who is that? Uh, Miles. Well, again, just uh, as I said, don't worry about your offense. Continue to defend. Uh, uh, Cantor did a good job of getting him deep a couple of times, and, uh, and, and then he, he – pounded the boards you know he is a monster down on that in that paint and uh you know miles knew he had to do better and uh he talked about he needed to do better uh we showed a couple clips at, at halftime and he came out uh you know with the mindset he had to do better defend that kid better uh because he was the one guy that was keeping them in the game came out with a lot of energy and uh just made him work to catch and tried to limit uh second opportunities